I going? I'm not sure what I did by the whole circus act for, but I can move on now. Kelly is named after Ned Kelly, an Australian bush ranger who is something of a Robin Hood figure. Ned's gang is famous for fashioning suits of improvised plate armor, weighing over 40 kilo, to protect themselves from law enforcement. The armor didn't cover much below the waist, though, a fact the police in Glen Roman explored to capture the outlaw by shooting him in the legs. Kelly was hanged in Melbourne jail in 1880. Kelly's body was dissected by medical students and the skull was rumored to have been given to the police who used it as a paperweight for the time. It eventually was returned to the Millbourne jail where it was on display until it was stolen in 1978. Despite some false claims, the skull has never been recovered. The rest of Kelly's marines were reburied at Penbridge Prison after the old Melbourne jail graveyard was accidentally unearthed during the renovations in 1929. The unearthed bodies were just placed assumptionally in a mass grave in Penbridge. But in 2011, Kelly skeleton was exhumed and transferred to distant relatives who, oh, sorry, who had him buried properly near his mother's grave. Kelly's armor is still on display at the State Library of Victoria, and there's a your history minute about Australian outlaws. You said you'd never learn anything from video game. Well, that's a lot of people who said that. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about. We've got this hallway locked down. No one gets through here a lot. Watch out. A sniper can end your life with just one shot. We'll need to find a way to block his scope. Okay. Okay, not graceful, but um
thank you for making okay, up. Okay, maybe I have to just keep walking this way. That, that seems like it's working. No, oh, this door is not open. That he notices it, but not this. assault against the clan. Now he's the only thing standing between us and Karajan. How quickly the serpent has become the mouse. The candy boss was probably the least enjoyable scenario to build. We really didn't want the boss to break the rules with the camp set up for the player, but everything we tried to explore to the combinatoric possibilities we couldn't account for. Then we ought to take the ninja's path and make the gameplay out of void them completely. I guess that does work for a stealth game. For us, it was important to be able to make it through the entire game without killing anyone. I, we both had to make exceptions for both Kaylee and Karajan. Kind of thought it was important for the sake of the game's fiends, but having to take our killing was basically us designing ourselves into a corner. Just implementing an interesting encounter with him was challenging enough, and we just ran out of time trying to find a way to make an unleaked encounter with him that was interesting and not bargain. Kelly seems to think you'll face him like a glorious samurai. Guess he doesn't know much about ninja. Well, he's about to get a lesson. I don't he'll appreciate it Like Karajan got a reprieve, and so did you. Hmm. Hey. Yeah. Sure. That went well, went well enough. In any case, this is Venera Cobra, and this has been Let's Play Mark Ninja Blind. See you all around.